Mazandra hair serrator, okay? We're talking about bulletproofing our shoulders. Where do you feel pain at, by the way? Um, what kind of moves do you? Upper shoulders. Upper shoulders bother you? Lower back. Yep. Lower back. With what moves? Squatting, push-ups, lunging, pressing? Pressing for shoulder gear and squatting is tight. Lower back. Okay, so when we're talking about when, she, when we squat, one thing we notice in lower back is we just worked on this today, that overhead squat position. So let's put you at Rich's arm overhead. When she squats, we want to be stable here, but this also forces us to brace her core. So when she feels a lot of pain in the squat, so go slowly into a squat, we're always cognizant how much low back extension can we really stabilize at the spine and come back up. So we're gonna do some things there. Also, to improve this, her shoulder, now you, you like to do what, what's your moves to massage this out on, on the scapula? Or hip? Ball on the wall. Okay, so, alright, here we go. A couple quick moves, show us a uh, ball on the wall. That that's almost could be a bad reference, by the way, so. <laughs> alright, so by the way, she's got a massage ball. This could be a tennis ball, softball. What, what, what are we doing here? Place the ball right behind the shoulder blade. Ah, I'm liking this already right here. So, we're going, if you can't, you can't see this, but we're going right up the shoulder blade, working all the soft tissue on that side of the spine. And one thing she can do is find an area of, of where there's a restriction at, okay? And now hold on that spot. And now do that same overhead pressing position. Of, like, keep your body set, bring the elbow down, like you're pressing, push back up. And kind of mobilize that pressing position. We want to get that position where it's pain-free. That's the goal. So when she goes overhead, any of the tight, stiff, rigid areas in her back, she can kind of mobilize that. And she'll probably do both sides. Awesome, okay. What else? What else? What's another secret that you use? Um, do the band sometimes. Okay, let's jump on it. So we got two, two bands set up here. We doing, let me guess, bully stretch. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. So you're gonna, you're gonna wrap it? Okay, so this is called a bully stretch. So if you're, if you're looking for that, you're gonna go around, put it behind your back. Let's come all the way around. Face the camera, so the boys and girls. So you can't, so basically she's in this position right here, all right? And all we're gonna do is this pulls this shoulder back into position. You can do this without a band. And then we're gonna work internal, external rotation of that hand. So I want her to rotate, keep doing it. Back and forth, again, we should have full capacity to do this. And this is a great way of keeping that shoulder back. She can even use this offside hand, tapping the little neck and trap, or pulling over here. And this again, the shoulder's back in a good position. We're working her neck, trap, delts, and I want her to find the places that are stiff and tight and off. So a couple good homework pieces, especially after this week where we've been doing a lot of pressing, a lot of push-ups. Shoulder can get trashed. Do the one, do the Lysandra move, you know, ball on the wall like that. And then uh, the bully stretch right here, which you don't even need a band for this right here, but that'll, that'll, uh, that'll work. Any other tips and tricks? No, thank you. Okay, see you next time.